booktube. My name is Elizabeth and I read bookends and books and this is the B tag. I was tagged by Kelly from the channel Books I'm Not Reading and it was originally created by Jim from the channel Jim's Books Reading and Stuff. I will link to both channels down below. This tag is part of the alphabetical tag started by Jim and I think they're really fun. Uh, I'm going to try to do them all. I don't know if I will have the time, but I think they cover a lot of ground. And as a new booktuber, I think it's good for you to get to know me as a reader. So they would be very useful for that. So uh, I will start with the B tag because I was tagged and uh, yeah, so prompt number one. B is for Bildungsroman. Do you have a favorite Bildungsroman or coming of age story? At first, nothing sprang to my mind. I had to browse my bookshelves a little bit for that. But then when I saw that book, I thought, oh yes, that's the one. So this is Au Pied de la Pente Douce, or in English, The Town Below by Roger Lemelin. It is set in Quebec City, so that's the reason for the title. Quebec City is built on a hill. At the top of the hill, there's the rich people. And at the bottom of the hill, there's the poor people. And in this book, we are in a poor neighborhood, in a working class neighborhood, in the town below. Um, it was published in 1944. And it's sort of an important book in French Canadian literature because it's one of the first books that started to question the stronghold of the church over French Canadian and Quebec society. So, um, yeah, in this book, we follow Denis Boucher, who is a young man, a teenager, barely out of school. He's very intelligent, very talented, and his family has high hopes on him. Um, they hope he will do something with his life. But at the beginning, at the beginning of the book, He's not doing much. He's basically hanging around with friends and just being a bit of a bum. So the question is in this book, what will he do with his talent? Will he use it to build a better, li a better life or will he just waste it away? Prompt number two. B is for beach. Be careful how you pronounce it. In standard French, there's no such thing as a long vowel. So there's just one way to pronounce beach and it's not beach. It's the other option. <laughs> What would you recommend for a beach read? Um, I'm one of these people who think that anything can be read at a beach. It doesn't have to be light. It doesn't have to be uh, frothy, silly, fluffy or whatever. Uh, if you want to read uh, the darkest book ever, you can read the darkest book ever. If you want to read a legal treaty, just go read a legal treaty, whatever you want. Uh, I will present the book, the last book that I read at the beach. And I was in Cuba, so I read a Cuban book. Leonardo Padura, The Man Who Loved Dogs. Um, this is a historical novel set partly in Mexico and partly in Cuba. It's about Trotsky, the founder of the Red Army, the Russian revolutionary, who was exiled by Stalin. Uh, so we follow him in Mexico during the last, uh, is it the last days or the last weeks, probably the last weeks of his life. And we also follow the life of his killer. So uh, very interesting if you have a lot of time at the beach. It may not do for just an afternoon. <laughs> Prompt number three. B is for best. What is the best book you have read this year so far? I read many good books and it's hard to pick just one that stood out. One that I liked very much is uh, Don Quixote by Cervantes that I read for the first time. But uh, I did not choose this one. For, for this prompt, I decided to choose uh, The Good Soldier by Ford Maddox Ford. It's another classic, this one from uh, the early 20th century. Um, okay, well, first things first, uh, you can see one of my quirks as a reader. I leave the price tag on the books because I think it's relevant information for my future self. And by the way, I did not pay $6 for this book. This is a collection that is at three for $10 at chapters. So I, I bought three and I paid $10 for the three. <laughs> So uh, as you can see, this one I annotated a lot and it's not something that I do very much. Normally, I just uh, start at the beginning and once in a while I may put a post-it if there's a passage that uh, grabs my attention. Um, I may jot down a few notes in a notebook, but I don't annotate that much. And um, I had a lot of fun sort of analyzing this book as I went. The red flags are for when there's a red flag that uh, the narrator is being unreliable. So basically every time he says, I swear, I assure you, uh, by God, it's true, and that sort of things. So um, I think that's one of the reasons why I enjoyed it so much, because I thought about it a lot while I was reading it and not just afterwards. So, the Good Soldier. Prompt number four. B is for bookshop or bookstore. Do you have a favorite bookstore? 
Um, I think any bookstore can potentially be my favorite bookstore. Uh, some of them I like more than others. I really like the one I have locally, which is La Librairie du Soleil, the, lib the, the bookstore of the sun in downtown Ottawa. It's an independent French bookstore, and I think it's great uh, to have this bookstore in the middle of an English-speaking community. Well, mainly English-speaking. There are a lot of French speakers, obviously, otherwise the bookstore wouldn't exist. But uh, I think it's awesome to have this bookstore right in the middle of the right in the middle of downtown, uh, well, not quite downtown, of the market area. So, uh, yeah, I will say that this is my favorite bookstore. Prompt number five. B is for banned books. Is there any book you think should be banned? No. B is for Bible. What is your favorite book of the Bible and what trigger warnings do you think it should have? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have never read the Bible. Uh, I've never read it cover to cover. I've read parts of it because I went to Catholic school in high school and we had religion classes and we had to read parts of it. And uh, the one that I remember the most is the first one is Genesis. I don't think we went much beyond that. Uh, in primary school, we studied the, um, oh, the Evangile, whatever that is in English, the books of uh, uh, Luke, Mark, Matthew and John. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't remember studying any other book of the Bible. Uh, well, so, so I cannot really answer this is my favorite because I really don't have a, a sample that is large enough. And mainly, I never read it as an adult. It's only for school. I've never, I don't think I ever looked at a Bible outside of school. I have one. I still have my the Bible I had to have for school. It's my bookshelves, but I've never read it cover to cover. So. Prompt number seven. B is for bookshelf. Show me your bookshelf slash bookshelves. I have a ton of bookshelves and I don't feel like doing a bookshelf tour, so I will just show you one because it's one of the options. It says bookshelf singular. So I will show you a single bookshelf, which is my favorite bookshelf in my apartment. As you can see, it can, it can contain quite a lot of books. Uh, the piles on the left have reached the limits of what I can reach without a stool. So uh, I don't think I will add any more there because also they are threatening to collapse. <laughs> so that, that's pretty much the limit the, in height. But uh, the piles on the right still have a, quite a bit of room for other books. So I will keep adding to them uh, as I read. Prompt number eight. B is for Brazil. Paulo Coelho's The Alchemist has been translated into 70 languages. Have you read any Paulo Coelho? And if so, what did you think of his books? I've read just one. I've read only The Alchemist because uh, everybody was reading it, so I thought I would read it too. At the time, I sort of thought that I was supposed to like it, so I thought I liked it. And then I lent it to my mother, and when she finished reading it, she gave it back to me and she said, I don't get it. And I realized that I did not get it either and that I couldn't see what was the point of the story. Uh, well, the, the, the point was obvious, but beyond the obviousness of it, the, the, the cutesy, uh, new age kind of uh, parable, or I don't know how to call it, um, it was not super interesting. So I haven't read any other Paulo Coelho's after that. Uh, it's the only book that I've read. So. And that was the last prompt. So I think this is the part where I'm supposed to tag people, but so many people have already done the B tag that uh, I don't think I will tag anyone. So if you feel like doing it, please feel free to do it. It's really fun. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. À la prochaine!